What's going on, everybody? Ed back with Silver Sport, and we got Chuck on the line. Hey, everybody, what do you say? What do you know? Check out the pecker on that son of a gun. <laughs> and by pecker, I mean his, his beak. You know, he pecks with Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, riding that line every video. Uh, keeping it, keep it clean, Chuck. Keep it clean. Don't Chuck. Watch it. Yeah. You can't talk about a chicken's pecker around no. here? <laughs> Clearly not. Oh, I screwed that up. I should have said you can't talk about a cock's pecker around here. <laughs> yeah, you did screw that one up. <laughs> so easy to misconstrue those words, Chuck. Uh, so <laughs> so back to the topic at hand. We haven't had a, a, a subscription box, like a full-fledged one, uh, in, in probably, what, five months, six months, Chuck? What are you talking about? You get that collectible card club. Yeah, that's not a full. Fl that's a sixty dollar box, right? This is the two hundred fifty five dollar gold box. Oh, cards. here we go. So it's the money away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so I decided because uh, I saw their, you know, the best thing about let me get on her, get on her, boy, before I get sidetracked. The best thing about brothers and cards. So when it comes to like the two hundred and fifty dollar sub box, I think this is my favorite just because there's a chance to outpace your value. And I don't think there's any other sub box where we've had that happen, where we've actually gotten more impact value uh, than we got in the sub box. Now, there's also a chance that we got lots of those that it was a little bit under or it was, you know, the underwhelming packs, five packs of Elite or whatever, right? But, but we did the quick math on this one. So just check that out, right? So there's all the packs that I got. And then the gold packs for this month was Phoenix, which is one of the things that triggered me to go get this box because I was a big fan of Phoenix last year. Uh, but there's the pack prices, and that's like that's lower than blowout. These aren't blowout prices. This is like hobby average, right? Uh, so you're looking at a, a total of 332, and I paid 255. So that's my pack value. Uh, pretty good. Did pretty good. In your mind? Yeah. Well, you know, yes, 100 <laughs> percent. Yes, <laughs> in my mind, right? Like this is what we were talking about. And look at all kinds of uh, uh, these nuts there. Oh, a variety of nuts. A variety of shapes and sizes and whatnot. <laughs> it's, a, it's a box of mixed nuts. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like you and me. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah. Did you get a golden ticket? Uh, I got a golden... This, I don't think these guys do that. Oh, wrong one, sorry. So, But they do. I mean, you can check them out on Facebook. They got a YouTube channel as well. Again, one of the big things I like about uh, Brothers and Cards in particular is their transparency. Uh, I was looking for next month's box, though they didn't, they didn't let us know what was going to be in that one just yet. But uh, so I didn't pull the trigger on that one as of yet. But we'll see. But they, the you pack, know, I, uh, the pack yeah. randomization is always live on YouTube, so you get to see what packs go where, and all the bonus stuff they talk about is in there. That's kind of what I like about it. Go ahead, Chuck. Sorry. I was just saying I had the golden ticket thing in my head because I uh, played a bunch of Willy Wonka slots in Vegas over the past few days. Oh, Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah, that blue-eyed bastard, man, he raped the hell out of me. <laughs> blue-eyed bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it was, too. You know, you get you needed three gobstoppers to trick the bonus, to trip the bonus right? Yeah. And they'd always give you two, right? And then a whole roll of that blue-eyed devil. No more gobstoppers. Blue-eyed you know, blue devil. Cause that's the that's the the top one. Oh, is this Don Russ? Hold on, what numbers are these? <laughs> oh, geez, hold on. Yeah, it's Don Russ, and that is not a downtown, unfortunately. CJ Ham, Leonard Fournette. You you quickly got off of Willy Wonka. <laughs> well, yeah, because I got my Don Russ uh, oh. checklist over here. There's a Justin Herbert uh, portrait. Oh, Herbie, as I drop oh, him all over. Fortunately, it's a second year year card that I dropped, not a rookie. Uh. Aaron Jones, rated rookie Greg Newsom. Oh, and an Elijah Moore canvas portrait. Oh, that's the red back? Yeah. Yeah, that's the portrait, the pink back. Very nice. Uh, where's my rookies at? I don't know. Keep them all in one stack because we got to go through these numbers after you're done. Oh, yeah. Now. Rob Gronkowski, uh, Mike Evans, and a kid reporter. You need that one, Chuck? Kid reporter? So, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> we gonna make everybody sit there while we read off each number of the back of cards. <laughs> DK oh, what? Up. Seven cards? You're the one. Joe uh, Mixon. I'll set these guys all aside, and we'll go through them after. George Kittle. Oh, there's a, a variation there. Demarcus Lawrence, Seth Williams, rated rookie, and a Adam Boypool, more Vikings, and Adam Thielen. 
50 of 50 bookend. Boy, that would have been good for the fantasy rip, huh? Can't you still use this? Uh, I suppose I could, but I mean, that's be kind of, I didn't really, I, I thought about using it and then I was like, eh, but that's pretty nice. I like it. Vikings. I could, I could pull enough Adam Thielen, Jalen Hurts, Dominators, and a Mike Vick. All right. So we got legacy here and one's chunky. So I don't know if it's a blank or, or if we hit the RPG. I figured you'd keep that legacy for last because legacy usually saves you. Oh, yeah. Well, I got all them expensive packs over there. I'm going kind of by price. Emmett Smith, Chase Young, Brandon Cooks, Under the Lights, A.J. Brown. With some oh, shoes. I need that one. Throw that in my palm. And that's numbered 18 of 100. A.J. Brown, Under the Lights, Shimmy Shine. All righty. Decade of Dominance, Ray Lewis, 2000s, and a rookie, Kellen Mond, and Sam Ellinger. So here we go. What do you got? Did you say something, Chuck? Nope. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks kind of like a blank, doesn't it? Oh, it sure does. Gotcha, bitch. Uh, Steve Largent, Jordy Nelson, back-to-back -back legends. Josh Jacobs, Jimmy G, Jamison Crowder, and that would be a 2018 Lamb Jack RPA out of Prism. It's <laughs> getting detailed. Right? Josh Jacobs flashback, and a Rondale Moore and a Quiddy Pay rookie. I was really hoping that one was going to be a hit because it was feeling kind of chunky. I don't know if any of these certified are feeling it. The optic, you got three cards to throw away and usually one parallel, so you got to hope that's a banger, right? Four cards per pack. Oh, David Montgomery. Uh, ooh, I thought that was good. I saw the Jags. I thought that was going to be good. James Robinson out of two ninety nine. Yeah, this would have been a pretty good uh, rip for the fantasy league there. Yeah. Numbered out of two ninety nine. Uh, DK Metcalf, Saquon, and Marlon Humphrey. Speaking of the Kraken, did you see Russell Wilson's odds four to eight weeks? Oh, yeah, with his finger all jacked up like that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a bummer. They're saying six weeks plus, right? Uh, what do we got here? Oh, almost a really good one. Michael Carter out of 75, and then we got a Dark Horses, Dak. We've pulled about 16 of those. Uh, that's a nice Michael Carter out of 75, though. Like that. Like that. And then the Dak... Dark Horses, Dime a Dozen, Josh Allen, and Miles Sanders. And here we go. This one feels a little chunky, too. Did we get blanked? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not a blank. Oh, really? Yeah, well, let's just get right at it. Oh, it's that dude from NG, Ian Book. Oh, Ian Book. There you go, rookie quarterback. Oh, it's just the mem, though. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so 11 of 299, he's number what? What is it, 19, 16 there? Number 11 of 299, Ian Book. So there's our first hit. It's pretty, yeah, deep, pretty deep. Justin Jefferson, Alvin Kamara, and Tyreek. And we are down to slim pickings now. So this 2020 Optic is like 60 bucks a pack. Is it Hobby? Yes, it's yes, Chuck. But just no way it should be sixty bucks a pack is what would you know what I mean? Okay. So we're looking for a Justin Herbert uh, out of five or something, right? Oh, I, get, <laughs> I call the I call the back card. Oh, you can't have it. Whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Daniel Jones, uh, Zeke, and here's our one card that's not a base. <laughs> it's a Josh Uche. Get okay. your Uche out of my packs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah, you get that last card, Chuck. Ross Blacklock, that's all Chuck. That's his guy. He's... There you go. Let me get that over there towards your overflowing box. Josh Uche, silver for the Patriots. Uh, Peckers and Uche is all over this video. $60 pack. Uh, yeah. I, I just can't. I can't imagine that stuff's flying off the shelves, right? Like. I'm using my fat sleeves over here. What's going on? Anyway, I'll just leave it that way for now. Okay, so also Phoenix had some some nice. I mean, we pulled some fire out of this. We pulled a Joe Burrow yeah. auto, a 
a Russell Wilson auto out of the first two boxes of this we opened in 2020. Yeah. Beautiful cards. Nice shimmy shine and colors. Julian Edelman. Kirk Cousins. I need all these Vikings to get out of my packs. There's a Nick Chubb. Not, the color, yeah, it's a color blast or whatever not it is. Not a rookie. Uh, it's out of 199. It's like the pink, right? Uh, out of 199, Nick Chubb. And Austin Eckler and a J.K. Dobbins. So that pack was womp, 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 too. <laughs> hey, yay, yeah, yeah. I think you brought the chicken back from vacation a little uh, too early. Yeah, so my only parallel, yeah, that chicken is going right back into the shelf right now. Go get you some my ties. Do something, because you might be fired till 2022. Uh, Austin Eckler, nice prism card there. But again, uh, kind of is what it is. J.K. Dobbins, rookie. And that is it. So the pack value was there. The value in the packs was not. <laughs> right, so, nope. Uh, so that'll do it for our first Brothers and Cards uh, rip in, in, in quite some time. And we'll see if we're going to pull the trigger on that again next month or not. And that ought to do it. Look forward to ProSet coming here soon, early next week. Thanks, everybody. Oh, ProSet and some, and some special editions, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a couple extra packs there, yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. And we're out.